hello guys and welcome to today's tutorial video i trust everyone is staying safe in the midst of all this pandemic um in today's tutorial video we're going to focus on correction of errors specifically correcting a payment misallocation we're going to use the company that is open on the screen that is software sales to demonstrate this so what we're going to do we're going to start first by processing a payment from a customer and then we're going to assume that we erroneously credited the wrong customer and then we're just going to reallocate that particular payment from that particular customer to the correct customer with that said let's just go along and quickly record our payments payment from that particular customer we're going to record that in a cash book so when you get to cash book you need to select the correct cash book and then we're just going to go to the receipt site to process that particular payment from our customer so we're just going to select customer and search for that account so what we're going to do we're going to select uh, AGN consultants which is one of our customers and then we'll assume that originally the payment was received from Albot limited but inadvertently we credited AGN consultants instead of crediting Albot limited so we're going to select AG and consultants for for this purposes then on the description we're just going to search and select um, payment thank you and then on the bank amount we're just going to assume that we're receiving a payment of 200 rands from this transaction And then we need to ensure that all is well from that particular receipt that we have just receipt batch that we have just processed then after seeing that all is well we need to go to update receipts page so at this point you will see that we have processed a payment from um, Albert Limited, but erroneously credited A and G consultants. So I'm just going to open Explorer quickly so that you can see that the credit leg went to agent consultants. So if you go to your customers, you will see that agent consultants now has. A debit balance um a, a negative balance of 200 rands that is because agent consultant had a nil balance up to at this date and then we just erroneously recorded the credit leg to agent consultants so now we need to reallocate this payment to the correct To the correct customer that is Albot Limited. So we're going to focus only on the credit lake that is um, crediting of Asian consultants. So we're just going to leave out the debit lake, which is the receipt of a cash book, because that was correctly um, processed. So in order to reallocate this amount to Albot Limited we're just going to go to process and then when you go to process you need to do this by a customer journal so you'll go to your journals and select customer journals then here we are we will remember that um, the period that we used was the last period which is the 13th period 
Then when you get to account, we need to start by selecting AG and consultants, which is the incorrect account that was used. When you get to reference, we're just going to use the same reference as our cash book. So we'll remember that the reference was DEP004. So we're just going to use the same reference. Then on the description, we're just going to have a reallocation of allocation. Yes, this is the correct description that will be given because we are reallocating the misallocation of um, a payment. And then you'll remember that originally we had credited this particular account. So now we need to debit it with what? An amount of 200 rands. So here it is, we have the 200 rands. Okay, there is our account. There is our 200. And then we're just going to debit this particular account. So um, you will notice that for this uh, journal, they are using the dollar currency as the default currency. So you need to, you'll remember that when you use the, the cash book, we were using the national uh, bank, which is using the rent as the currency. So we're just going to the home amount and insert 200 rands. Then there it is. And then now you need to uh, pull the correct account that will that should have been credited that is albot limited then this is you now reallocating that particular payment so on the description we're just going to have payment payment reallocation Then for, for this account, we need to credit it. Then our amount will be 200. So there our home amount also will also be 200 rands. Then after debiting AGN consultant and crediting Al Albert Limited right there as displayed on the screen, you now need to click tab and when you do that you will notice that you will have this screen right here on this screen now you need to match that particular amount of 200 now on this screen you will see that it's an, uh, an account of albert limited where it shows all the sales that were um transacted with the company you will see that the customer purchased on the 1st of uh, July 2017 the 27th of uh, May 2018 so it shows all the transactions that this particular customer have went and uh, transacted with our company now when you match you now need to select which uh, transaction is the customer paying so in this case we're just not going to match this amount with anything we're just going to click on close and then you will say you have not matched the total amount you may leave this the rest of uh, as unmatched 
then you're going to select that particular one which says leave the rest as unmatched we're not going to match it with anything and then you're going to select okay then after selecting okay you now need to go and update this particular uh general batch then you're just going to update right there then after updating that particular uh general batch i'll just go i'm just going to close this uh customer journal and i'm just going to open my explorer then i'm going to go to my customers then i get when i get to customers i'm just going to locate a and g consultants you can see now that on the balance a and g consultants have what a nil balance but when you go to albot limited it now has sixteen thousand eight hundred and twenty eight which is uh, a jump from 17,000 uh, to 16,000. So you can see that this is how you can go about in um, reallocating a payment uh, that was misallocated or that was allocated to the wrong customer. So this completes uh, our tutorial video. So if you have any queries, anything that you you like to consult on regarding pastel you can just comment on the comment section below or you can just uh, hit that particular email address that is given